Hello everyone, my name is Josh and my name is Jay and we want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you can watch a defined enlightening We've said this the last time We have said this the last time Some of you still have not subscribed Calm down Jay I will not I will not calm down How hard is it? How hard is it? It's just a button It's over here Where? Here What? Who shifted the subscription button? Hold on you see? Be careful, Jay. You see? You see how easy it is? You see how easy it is? It, 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 it doesn't <laughs> we had no idea you were coming. But we talked on the phone yesterday and you didn't mention anything. <laughs> I wanted to surprise you. <clears throat> See, I intentionally called you to find out about your schedule. I wanted to be sure you'd be around before we came. <laughs> hey, Baba! Hey! So, how are you doing? <laughs> My dear, I hope this what? 
My brother here has not been disturbing you. Oh no, not at all. My friend, mm. you are doing well. It's good. It's good. Another miracle on the way. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Actually, mm. it's not my fault. Mm. She's the one that will not allow me to rest. Mm. Anyway, it's the work of God. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him all the glory. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you very much. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome. Ah, ah. Look at you. Ah, all the freshness from Abuja. Uh, see, uh, see. Uh, uh, Abuja is another story. Another story. Take <laughs> <laughs> us there. <laughs> What's going on? What's the matter? Pray. Or is it bad to pray? But there are tears in your eyes. You are crying. Why? Why there? I hope this has nothing to do with what you saw with the color days. What is wrong with me, dear? I'm tired. We got married the same time. What she is carrying a thought pregnancy. What is wrong with me? Oh God. Hidden, listen. God has told us several times. He has even sent people to tell us to wait for the appointed time. And when will the appointed time come? When I'm already in my menopause. Wait, is this how we're going to sit here and do nothing? We are doing something. We are. And what is that? Dear, we are waiting. We are waiting. Thank you, sir. My husband mentioned that you wanted to see me. Hmm. Yes. I told him that you are still feeling unhappy and worried about the matter again. Sister Bidemi, I thought we settled this matter during our last discussion. But, sir, I don't think we should remain inactive like this. Many things are possible in this age of ours. That was what I was trying to explain to my husband. But he thinks I have no faith. Really? Like what, Sister Bidemi? A friend of mine and her husband came to visit us. And she discussed some things with me. But seriously, time is going. Hmm. And you know, ages now. You don't need to remind me of that now. What else can we do? Listen, Mama B. Sarah's time has passed. The era of struggling to conceive is over. The world has moved beyond that. Children are no longer something you exhaust yourself trying to have. God has freed us from all that. The Bible confirms it when it talks about knowledge increasing in the end time. So, what do I need to do? Look, let me surprise you. Do you know in today's world, you can choose where you want to get pregnant and even determine the gender of your baby. The power is in your hands. You decide what you want to do. And I'm asking what you suggest I do now. 
We are not holding hands. We have sought much counsel. There is a doctor in Abuja you need to see. And you know, as a Christian, I cannot suggest just anyone. Why are you talking like this? Are we not friends? Because I don't know how your husband is going to react to it. You don't worry about that. Remember, we two waited for almost two years before the sister in our church introduced me to this doctor. And then children started rolling in. We planned to have three children and this will be the third, God willing. This is unbelievable. I will have my husband discuss with Brother Soji and we will be in Abuja once you've made your decision. These are the things she discussed with me. They also share their private experiences with us. But my husband was just quoting scriptures, which left them embarrassed. They left without saying a word. Hmm. I think I understand now. So, what do you want to do now? To hear your opinion, sir. My opinion? <sighs> but sister Bidemi, do you believe God still gives children? But sir, I am not getting younger. Besides, there is no sin in trying other methods too. <sighs> Must we keep tempting God when he can use any other means? It's like someone who is sick yet refuses to take medications. But you and your husband have gone to many physicians who have checked and counseled you, so I don't believe you are sick. And besides, and besides, who created time? Is it not God who promised Sarah, Elizabeth, and even Anna? May my case never be like this, because I don't think I have that grace. But God can supply the grace if you rest on Him. The Bible says, Knowledge shall increase in the last days. God has given our physicians knowledge to cope with the changing world, which also has some effects on some biblical principles. But God's word never changes. It is settled in heaven. But sir, have you ever seen a woman as old as Sarah getting pregnant in this age of ours? Pastor, we need to be very realistic. The recent world has changed some of God's principles. No, no, I don't agree with you. God does not change his word or principles. God sustained a woman to have strength to be pregnant at 90 and her husband at 100, like Sarah and Abraham. Though people lived longer in their days, he also chose some women to carry special children into the world as vessels to fulfill his special agenda. Children like Isaac, Samuel, Samson, and even our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you saying God has chosen me to be one of them? <laughs> well, it depends. <laughs> but nothing goes without sacrifice. Just as how other children of God wait for different things in life, not only for children. God can also agree with a couple to release special children for specific assignments as he did to some in the Bible days. But it is not easy to wait, sir. Yes. Yes, my sister. But same God who enabled Anna and others will release a special grace. Sister Bidemi, the market is open into this world. You can choose to have any child you desire, but there are still covenant children ordained by heaven for special assignments. Let me pray with you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to commit this you. Yes, you said it. You said you will bring her
Who be this one? Why you go carry this picking? Come here. You go talk say you know Sabi am. Good thing, pa. As they look this boy so. No, the kind guy who you see before you see they see. This guy, you are ready. Mm. As they look up, you are ready to work with the elders. You don't clean your hand well, maybe they shop with the elders. As they look in, they look at you. This guy cares. Have you never show them? The guy cares. So we welcome our special guest, Bidemi. So Bidemi, can you tell me why you are deep in thought? I don't know why I'm facing this situation. I don't even know what else to do. I have been faithfully serving God alongside my husband since we were both single. Shouldn't God reward us with a child of our own? Hmm. How many children do you actually desire to have? I will be content with a boy and a girl. Two children will be sufficient for me. me? No. You won't have two children. Why? Because you are made to carry nations. I can't even imagine handling many children, let alone nations. Time is passing, and I'm not growing any younger. Who created time and season? It is God of Abraham, and children are his heritage. You see? The devil fears the potential of the seed I am bringing into the world. And that fuels the animosity and the manipulation he is bringing against all the women, the chosen women, that are to carry those seeds. But nevertheless, my purpose will stand and my way will prevail. So, stay resolute and keep your faith. For blessed is she who believes. For there shall be performance of those things that are said to her by the Lord. So, wake up. I don't understand. There, wake, wake up. up. Who? Wake up, dear. Wake up, dear. Dear, wake up. Yeah. Yes. I had a dream. And it was so strong. Okay. All right. Let's go into the room and we'll discuss it. All right? Let's go. Okay. I think we've heard enough from the Lord. What else do we want God to say? Moreover, we have gone to various places for checks on several locations and the results have been the same. Dear, I know it is not easy. I can feel it. So I understand your situation when your friend came here with her family. No, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't talk to them like that when they were trying to help us. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I had to respond that way to help us. To help our faith. There. 
we can't do what they suggested to us. Imagine your dreams now and, and what the pastor told you. Everything is related. Besides, God has been faithful to us. Let's begin to see other things he has done as, as, as confirmation that we're on, on the right path. I have come too far with this God to start doubting. I strongly believe that the miracle is very close. See, Zechariah doubted and he received a severe consequence. He was relieved of his priestly duties because he couldn't talk for several months. God eventually fulfilled his promise, but not without consequence. He was just a spectator. My dear, I want to receive the miracle with honor. Father, your word says in Isaiah. Hmm? In Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 to I am weak and tired. Please help me. There. I see this as a divine assignment for us. God chose us and wants to glorify himself in our lives through this situation. This grace for every divine assignment. So we shall pray for it. If we are humble and sincere in following his way, he will surely bestow his grace upon us. Grace for the moment. Let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, as we wait on you, renew our strength in Jesus' name. Lord, renew our strength. Mama B, I am so happy to have you in Abuja. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, it's my friend, Saji. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. He's still at the convention ground with other pastors. They are ah. very busy. But he sends his greetings. <laughs> but um, we didn't hear anything from you again. What is the situation now? You said you will get back to us. BJ me. If your husband is busy, won't you do something about your life and future? Time is going, Mama B. <laughs> the work of God will always be there. No, my friend. His work must be done in his time. <laughs> do you know everything changed about me the day I died? Died? What happened? Jesus, Jesus. Christ. Yes. I mean, I was dead myself. The very day I had an encounter with God, and I fully submitted to him. Uh, <sighs> oh, okay. You scared me. Uh, well, I'm talking about dead to your desire and ambition. You know me. You know how passionate and desperate I was to have a child of my own. Having an encounter with God changed me. He changed me and opened me up to greater assignments. <laughs> so, you both have decided to be the Abraham and Sarah of our time. <laughs> okay. So, how are you coping now? His grace has been our support. <laughs> Honestly, I must confess that we have experienced many great moments. <sighs> He has been there all the way. No boring moment at all. He also occupies us with his work. <laughs> Mama B, tell your husband that I said there is time for everything. <laughs> everything you are doing now can be done every other time. The work of God is always there, but this time, this time cannot be regained. You are not getting any younger. On the contrary, 
now is the best time to serve him. You forgot what Jesus said. I will do the work of my father now. Because the night cometh when no man can walk. There is no better time to do his will than now. Bide me. Are you truly happy with your situation? Because I know your husband must be the one be behind your current attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I can never be too happy. In fact, happiness is not even the right word. It is joy and fulfillment. I'm fulfilled. And he is always faithful. Besides, God has blessed me with many children that are looking up to me. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll try to attend the program on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I will call you tomorrow. Let me be on my way. Children, Mama B is about to leave. Can you come and say your goodbyes? Hmm. Bye, Mama B. Thank you. Let me find something for you and your brother who is sleeping. Okay. <laughs> um, Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, I'll Bye. be on my way. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank you right, for coming. To... All right. Yes. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I done. There. I'm sorry I will be coming home late this afternoon. Why? Mom sends for me. I received a message this morning asking me to visit her briefly. Is there a problem? Is she okay? She didn't mention any issues, but I'll call you later. Hey dear, how is my daughter in law, Bidemi? My beautiful daughter. I believe she will never be barren in Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm. I just thank God for giving me such a wonderful daughter in law. She's just a blessing to me. Thank you, Mom. She's very much okay. Let me quickly bring your food before we talk. Cecilia, please bring the food. Mom, mm -hmm. please let's go straight to what you sent for me. Are you saying you are not eating? No. Even Bide me knows that I must eat whenever I come home. Let me pack the food home okay. so that we can both eat it. I mean Bide me and I. Oh, in fact. That will be fine and better. Thank you, Mom. Oh, just go and pack it. And make sure you pack for Bide Me too. Because he's going with it. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah. Now, back to the main reason why I called you. Yeah. But Mom. Hmm? Why don't you just get the car to the mechanic? You know, those people can be very funny. And I'm certain this is not a big issue. So I figured, why don't I just get it fixed for free instead? Mom, <laughs> me. Ha! Oh. Okay. Hmm. Mm. So, you know I've never disturbed you or raised the issue. Since both of you explained to me so many steps you've taken and how you've been confirmed perfect by the doctors. Yes, mom. And we sincerely appreciate your understanding. Hmm. But last week while I was praying, I suddenly remember the incident between you and your stepmother long ago, Mama Jill, and how they said she vowed that we never have your own child. That wasn't there when it happened. Your father's sister told me everything. And that was why she didn't attend your wedding. She traveled. Though she gave one flimsy excuse then. Hmm. Could it mean that uh, she's behind all this situation you are facing? Well, if she's behind it, then God must have allowed her. It means he pays God. 
How can such a terrible thing pay God? Saji, so, look, I've not come here to joke with you. I've endured enough without disturbing both of you. But mom, ain't you a child of God? And that is why I should not talk. That is the main reason why I've been keeping quiet. But being a Christian does not mean I should not speak my mind. Most especially when the Holy Spirit reminds me of the incident between you and that woman. Mom. Hmm? Please go and start the car. Oh. Assuming she is behind it, what do you suggest we do now? Because we are not even sure. And we have always been at peace with her. Hmm. She has deceived you with her pretense. Once you know your enemy, your problem is half solved. We now know where to direct our prayers. This is the time to rise up and confront the enemy. They must all fall and die by fire in Jesus' name. Mom, we've already gone through all of this and made several efforts. And Jesus has given us his peace. The only enemy we have is the devil, whom Jesus has defeated once. We're already in a covenant with God. And he has assured us that our appointed time will come. That's what we are waiting for. Amen. But there are so many ways by which people are dealing with this situation of barrenness to put those evil people to shame. Evil must not be condoned. Mom, go and stand the car. Ah, you are my wife. A blind man was brought to Jesus and his disciples asked why the man was born blind. Or perhaps his parents had committed any sin. Jesus said none of them had sinned. Rather, it was that God's glory might manifest. So sometimes God allows things that appear evil to us so that his glory might be made manifest. You are right, Soji. It's all in the Bible, although it is not easy. But God will give us the grace. Amen. And you will not be put to shame in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Thank you, man. Mama, I'm, I'm very sorry. Sir. I tried to explain to her that you have guests. Mama, why are you doing this now? Why? Mama, why are you doing this Mumbo, uh, you, you can go. Okay, sir. Oh, Thank sir. you, madam. I'll wait till you finish with it. You understand English? I'm in Bislani, sir, and um, I'm not so old. I'm just um, below 60. <sighs> so, What's actually going on? What happened? Um, my name is um, Samson Ushke Ayomiko. We are missionaries from the eastern part of the country with my husband. But then I lost him on mission field. 
the our converts try to help, but I still they could do because um, they saw my plight. I have two grown up children. We just get, got admission to the college, but they could not proceed due to lack of funds and um, because of their father's demise. <sighs> I'm really very sorry for your plight, man. But Thank you. Uh, what do you want us to do since you are not a member of this church and uh, we are committed to our members first? Uh, no problem, sir. We are ready to be members and we are, we are one in Christ. Uh, well, I am very happy to hear that, but uh, the truth is that we can only attend to your case after you have spent three months in this church. I'm so sorry, there's, uh, there's little we can do for now. I, I seriously need your help, sir. Please. Especially for these children. They are at home. They could not go to school where they are just at home. I we need to help them. They could not continue schooling. And they are about to lose the admission. Please help us. Please, sir. I, I, I'm really sorry. I would have honestly helped, but... Uh, there's nothing I can do against the established principles of this church. I'm really very sorry. I would like you to register your name and address with the secretary to, to contact you in case uh, anything happens. Uh, God bless you. Um, Abigail! Abigail! Yes, sir. Um, please, you um, give a one of the gifts that we usually give to new commerce when they come. Okay, sir. All right. So, um, God bless you, man. Uh, my regards to your children. And uh, it is my prayer that uh, the Lord will take care of you. It's okay, too. Thank you. Uh, so, um, as we were saying, um, it's important that. Uh, So, Mama, how did it go? Were you able to fit the pastor for help? When are we likely to resume the admission? It will soon go. Mom, again? But we are so sure God led you to the church. Has he changed his mind again? What is wrong with you? Why are you that thing, God? Don't forget everything has been by faith. You better be careful. Your reaction to this issue. 
Nothing must shake our faith and trust in God. Oh God, please don't let us miss this admission. Hasn't God done enough? Hasn't he done enough? But he was there doing nothing when dad died, despite all the prayers. Will he keep watching while we meet this again? <laughs> James! <laughs> James! Come back here! Come back here! Hey, Jesus! You, you just should and better be careful. Not to give the devil any chance at all. Because whatever we are going through now cannot define us. Whatever we go through now cannot define us because his thoughts are always good. He said to me, he will send helpers. I thought it would be through the pastor of that church, but I may be wrong. I'm only woman. Eh? But mom, you shouldn't have said it when you were not sure yet. Mm -hmm. You said it as though you actually heard from God, whereas it was your own thoughts. So what's going to happen now? Listen, I may be wrong, but I know I have the Holy Spirit in me. We trust God by faith, and His word cannot fail. You see, meanwhile, we must apologize for this brief moment of, of doubting God. James, you have to believe God that he has his own reason for taking away your dad. I've told you this several times. Let us ask God for forgiveness of sin. And let us thank God for your admission. Yes, because I know he will supply our needs. James, this place where they carry you go. Even for a small picking, yo. <laughs> My guy, see, if you don't determine for your mind, say you go join the gang, they go help you. Mm -hmm. they, see, any amount you mention, say you want, they go give you. Mm -hmm. You won't be saying, once you join like this, na money. If you join like this, na lifetime. You join once, lifetime enjoyment, all the max. Mm -hmm. I tell you. Ah, we don't want to lose this admission. Please, just help us. Eh? We'll definitely pay back. We'll ah, which you they talk? Which guy give me that pay back for where? I say you know they pay back. If they don't give you money, now for like, see, if you don't join, now money. If you can't, they obey the boss, now money. You can't, they please the boss, they make the boy, now another money. Are you sure? Ah, so, wait till this guy they talk. What if we fight out 500,000 K? Where we say my boss, they always use and do give away for girls. If he got come down, the girl can't find. He beautiful, he young. Ah. Mm -hmm. I tell you, hey, but I, I'm not a girl now. So, so <laughs> I'll wait till you they talk. The money now for you and your sister. Hey, no. Hey, hey. You talk to your sister. Just reason out with your sister. If she, if she don't agree, just make she meet the boss. She don't meet the boss. Now, just one night. Say one night. Say one night. One night. Forever money. You don't finish. Um, no. no. She won't be able to do that now. Uh, you, you know we are serious Christians and our parents are missionaries. Uh, missionaries. Hey, say, stick to missionary. Stick to missionary and forget about, forget about admission. What did they talk? Why your papa they die? Where missionary day? Where missionary day? You they find admission now. How missionary help you? How? Guy, why? I, I, I think say you wise. I think say you be a person with get brain. You know, get anything for you. You, you foolish. Not a day or brain. Nonsense. I know if you carry you go meet boss with this kind of mindset. Oh. Your, 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 your mindset, your reasoning, not even, you know, they okay. But, but, uh, wait now. Wait now. Wait. wait, wait. Uh, why are you angry now? Why are you angry now? Let, 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 let's talk about it. Eh? How, how can we go, back, go about it? If you don't ready, call my number. But wait now. So what did he say? Did he promise to help? 
Yes. He has agreed to give us the money until we're able to pay back. He even said it is possible that the boss gives us the money for free. Ah. Free? Are you sure? Is that possible? Of course. But on one condition. And only you have the key. How do you mean? Just follow me to see the boss. The boss likes young and beautiful girls. I already told him that it's not possible, but what do you think? James! What is happening? Are you seriously asking such a question? To trade my body? What has come over you? What will God say about me? Because of an admission? Okay, 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 okay. So, why were you expecting the outcome? Why were you asking about the outcome? Why? Sit today and be expecting Christ to pay the bills. If you are not ready to move, I know how to go about it. I just don't want to be a fool this time. If Jesus failed to do something, I will get it done anyhow. I just don't want to miss the admission. I better lose this admission. That send my soul to the devil. You better be careful where you walk with James. Remember what dad told us on the sick bed? That no matter what happened, we must never fail this Jesus. Can you compare your soul to any of the earthly riches? Keep quiet! Shut up! Do you want to preach to me? Do you want me to listen to what Mama is saying? To wait for God till we miss this again? No. That will not happen. Not again. I will get the money anyhow. You follow me if you're ready. I can't do this. I can't. Let's wait. Go and say do something. Mama has just gone out to see some people consigning this. You have been given the form, Mrs. Um... Samson Uche. I don't... Good. Uh, Mrs. Samson Uche. Uh, you want to borrow 500,000 naira? Yes, sir. Ah. If I may ask, will you be able to repay this amount along with interest in the next one year? Because this capital, this amount, with the interest will be 750,000 naira. That is huge. Ah. Um, uh, um, I will advise. Why don't you reduce this amount to something a little bit more manageable? Eh? So that the repayment over the next year will not be too stressful on you. Eh? My candid advice. I need the money urgently, sir. Um, Madam, I understand your urgency, but I want to make it clear to you that the monthly payment must not fail. The monthly payment must not fail? Yes, Madam. It must not fail. Um, by the way, apart from being a missionary, do you engage in other business or is that the only thing you do? Yes, sir. But why, why do you ask? Hmm. Hey, madam, I will advise that you go home. Go and think over this again. Hey, go and have a rethink. Then um, when you come back tomorrow, uh, we will act accordingly based on your decision. I thought we have already concluded. Uh, madam, I am doing this in your own interest. Please go home and have a rethink. And I'll be waiting for you. <sighs> okay, sir. Thank you. I know you hear me. Because you are not sleepy. Come out right here. We need to talk. 
We need to talk. Oh. Hmm. Aye. Huh? James. Hey. James. What is wrong with you? Hey. Why are you suggesting something terrible like this to your sister? And what did she say I said to her? Huh? Eh? James. And even if I suggested it, did I force her? Speak out now. Did I force you? James, why are you doing this? This is the work of the devil. Hey, where is your faith? Mama, please, don't even go there. Huh? Don't go there. Good. Nothing happened to my face. Nothing concerns my face. I don't want to be a fool this time. That's all. Hey. James. James. You are not helping me. Ha. Don't, don't rubbish the work we have done for God. Don't join these people. You may have the money. But to endanger your soul. Please, my son. Don't join these people. Don't move to that side. Let's stay in God. He's the husband of widows. He's your father. He will surely rise for us, please. I only suggested to Lydia. I didn't force her. James, hey, have you forgotten what the Bible says? In Psalm 1 1, it says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of the scornful. But you're already walking in the way of sinners, son. Mama, I'm sorry to disappoint you this time. I don't want to lose this admission. And if working with sinners is going to solve the problem, then I'm ready to take the risk alone. James. In fact, I have already left Lydia out of it. James. Ah, don't endanger your soul. Satan has no free gift. Hmm. I've been praying. And I know he will answer in his own time. Mm. He's the husband of widows and he is your father. Mm -hmm. He will rise up for you. Lydia, come, let us pray. Let's join hands and pray again. Come, 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 my son. Please, please. Come, let's pray. James, don't do this. Don't do this. Please, come, come, eh? Don't, don't, give, ah, don't give him, don't give the devil chance. This is the work of the devil. Let's remove this storm. This song, Jesus can stop it. Okay, you wait for me, let me go. I'm coming. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. You are Mrs. Samson Uchi? Yes. I'm Mrs. Samson Uchi. What can I do for you? Can we go inside and discuss, ma'am? I don't know you. But since you say you are looking for me, you can come in. Thank you, ma'am. Ma, are these yes. your children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But they can excuse me. Go inside. Mm -mm. Go no, uh, no ma'am. It's, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. We're well, happy to see you all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You see, I came that day to your church to see your pastor because God led me to that church. Even I told my children, but I did not notice you. Though I saw Pastor talking to some women. I think there were two. When I bashed into the into his office. Because I was so desperate. Yes, Ma, you are right. We were two that were seated there in front of the pastor. Myself and one other woman. 
<laughs> Pastor said, I should leave my number with the secretary. But are you the one who, who called yesterday? You called my number? Yes, ma'am. We called to confirm the number you left with the secretary. <sighs> Good. So, Pastor sent you to me? No, Mama. God sent us to you. God? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you still can't sleep? No. I kept on seeing the image in my spirit. The woman was so disappointed. Yeah. Dear, yeah. can we help her? I think God wants us to help her. She's a widow with two grown-up children. You know, and, and the church couldn't really help, you know, due to other commitments. Uh, I, I don't really blame the pastor. This is why God made me to witness the sin. Mm. Everything cannot be done by the church. Yeah. Since we are the church and not just the building. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree with you on that. I, I agree with you exactly, you know. But how do we find our whereabouts? How do we reach out? That is simple. Okay. We can go through the pastor for the information. I heard the pastor telling the secretary to collect her name and address. Mm. Uh, okay. I don't think we need to disturb the pastor about this. You know, he has a lot on his mind already. So I, I suggest we just go through the secretary. Mama, we are here to finance the screen of your two children until they complete college. Hey! Jesus. 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 Mama. Mama. Uh, this gift is for you, Mama. We we'll also leave our phone number with you, so you can call to discuss any necessary expenses, you know, towards the admission. We we'll also need your account details, ma, and the total cost or of the school fees for this session. Lord Jesus. I went out yesterday to borrow 500,000 men for the two of them. But you, Jesus, you stop it. Ha! Ah, it is 500,000. But whatever God needs in your heart, it's okay. Mama, we'll send one million naira to you now. Hey! And you know you can call to discuss more. It's possible that you don't remember everything now. But when you call, hey. we'll be able to know the situation of things, ma'am. Hey, God. God. God bless you, children. Uh, what are your names? James. I'm Lydia, sir. God keep you. May God take care of you. Love the God of your father and mother and serve him faithfully. Fear him wherever you are, especially now that you're going to college. Always remember 
that he cares for you and he will not forsake you. Whatever happens, stay in him. He is always faithful. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Can we pray before we leave? Sorry, Mama. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, I almost lost my soul because of money. <laughs> I, I have been angry at Jesus since that died. I never knew Jesus still loves me. Or has my interest at heart? Can he still forgive me? Can he still trust me? I have disappointed him. Mama, I am sorry. I am sorry, please. Help, help me beg Jesus. Help me beg Jesus. I'm 
not been a good brother. I have not been a good son. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, my boy. God is able to give you a new beginning. He's here now. And he will have mercy. Ah. Have mercy, Lord. Please. Forgive us. Ah. Forgive your son. Lord Jesus. And all of us. We are very sorry. Very sorry. And we are grateful, Lord Jesus. Ah, for being faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Even when we are unfaithful to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ah. <laughs> no, James. Stop crying and listen. This is a great test for us all. And I'm grateful for his mercy. I'm happy and I'm grateful to God. Not only about the money, but about God restoring James back to himself. He delivered his soul from the hand of the enemy. Hey! The God of missionary rose up for us. He rose up for us. My greatest joy, James Ligia. My greatest joy hey, is that you will know and serve this God. You will know and serve this God. Ah, Jesus, thank you. Hey, have, have mercy on me, Lord. God, we are grateful. Have mercy on me, Lord. James, rise up on your feet. He has forgiven you. And be strong. Our God has proven himself. Yes. There is nothing he cannot do. Yes. Yes. He is able to meet our needs. Yes. And that man says something. Something you must not forget. He said you must serve the God of your father. Yes. That is the greatest gift you have. Not because of anything. But because he created you. Like your father. He created you to serve him. And you must serve him. You will serve him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will serve my God. Amen. You will walk with God. Amen. And you will live for him. Amen. So arise. Be ready to revenge the devil. And go all out for that Jesus. You go all out for that Jesus. Mm -hmm. And God, the God of your father, will be proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Keep your faith in Jesus. Ah, we are my Keep your faith in Jesus. Hi. Hey. Keep your faith in Jesus. And God will perfect your life. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm happy. I am a boy. Hey. I am a boy.
Mama, <laughs> how are you? I believe your children are now settled in school. Ah, our angel. They have settled like king's children. Ma, thank you very much. We are not angels. We are just God's children. Our mother, hmm, you restored my children's faith in the living God. You saved my home. <laughs> I am a missionary. You have planned to use the death of my husband to destroy our children and our future. But you came at the right time. When I had nowhere to turn, you came to rescue the situation. To God be the glory, Ma. Amen. You and your husband are the angels God sent into my home. My children hmm, are on fire for God now. The miracles sparked a fire in them. Hallelujah. May God be praised. And what about you, Ma? You are now the only one left at home since both of them have left for school. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm on my way back to the mission field. The work is much. And many of our combat cannot wait to have me back. After our daddy went home to be with the Lord. You strengthened me to know that I'm not alone. Thank you, our mother. Amen, Mama. I'm just a young woman. I'm only privileged to be used of God. He could have used someone else. But he used you. He used you because you made yourself available. So I'm grateful. We thank God, Mama. Maybe we will come to greet you on the field one day. Hey, hey, hey. That will be another miracle. Okay. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Get our daddy, your husband, and the children for us. Thank you, Ma. But we are still expecting them. They are yet to come. <laughs> you mean he traveled with the children? Hmm? Huh? Okay, no problem now. Just don't forget to greet him for us when they come back. Mama, what I'm saying is that we are still waiting for them. I mean, we don't have any biological child of our own. God has not released any yet. Hey! <laughs> God! No wonder. No wonder what, Ma? Last night, I saw two boys following you. And I wondered why God showed the dream of you and your boys. Hey, I don't know. You are still waiting for them. Ha! Jehovah Lord, they have come. They have finally come. Yes, congratulations to you, our mama. Hey, so start preparing you because there are two boys. We, Jehovah. There are two boys. Lima, Korea, Lama, Sandayama. Start preparing. I meet two nations. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Father, we praise you. Two nations just arrived into your house from God. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm happy. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Lima Koriyalama Santariyali. Malimo Sonto, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Two nations, they just arrived. Congratulations, my mama. You mean you saw two boys following me? Yes, because the Lord has risen to have mercy upon Zion. 
for the time to favor her. She, the set time is come. Hallelujah, Jesus. The appointed time has come, our mama. Ha, shall we appreciate and bless our father together? He is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful gift you have given to your servants. We receive them. We welcome them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May God bless you, Mama. I will call when I get to our station. My regards to your husband, our daddy. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, thank you. Huh? God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I receive my babies. I receive them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I receive this miracle. Marina Ribo Sintarabashikayaba. I receive my babies. Praise the Lord! dedication day for John and James and of course as you know their parents have waited on the Lord for 14 good years brethren is not easy it's only God that can do this praise the Lord praise the Lord this is John right? okay this is John this is brother John please stretch forth your hand and begin to pray for John let's pray for John this is James Hallelujah. So go to him, John. Pray for James that in the name of the Lord Jesus, he will go in the fear of the Lord. Over and again 